Hey everybody, how you doing? Been having problems with my video here where I'm not getting a clear picture. I actually think it's my lighting, but now it's coming in clear. Okay, so we're good. This is the second time I'm doing this part because I was having problems with it. But here is one of the eggs. Yeah, my hands are bad because I just did that painting. But they're dry, so. Isn't that pretty? So yeah, it's coming in clear now, that's cool. So these are the plastic little eggs you can get at Walmart in the Easter area. You don't have to sand them or anything because they already have good roughage to them, sort of, they're sort of like just so. Um, and they're just completely hollow, they don't open or anything. There's always a little pinhole right on the very tip. So what I do is take a thumbtack, poke a hole in it, and then I put my toothpick in it and then prop it up in my foam and pour over them. So you don't have to, to sand them or anything. They're already perfect. So that's really crazy. Now I'm getting, I don't know, I had to stop and go on this video a couple times so in this video in the beginning it's going to be a little blurry when i start painting i can't redo the painting but i fix it by the end okay so there's that one and then let's see the silver one or the glitter that's glitter pretty much that's it <laughs> Nice. I I put uh, that Restylane spray on them, so that one's it's not coming off at all. No glitter. And then let's see, which other one did we do? Oh, the blue glitter from the painting. That turned out real pretty. Little swirls of white and that blue, that was it. So that's that one. And then, let's see what else. Oh, my son and I did this one. I don't know if you can see it either. Yeah, you can. Now you can. See, earlier you couldn't, it was all blurry. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'm pushing auto or something. But this was, he said, let's do black. So we did black. So this has got a little lacing of white in it, which is neat. So that's the ugly duckling egg. <laughs> so, so we have that one. <laughs> um, That's it though. So I'm getting there. I still have three more to go. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You have three more. So they're all pretty. Okay. So we'll get going. Oh, then uh, what I was going to show you is what I'm doing is I'm going to be putting this on one of the paintings that we're doing next. Okay. This is an iron on and I got it from Michael's for like a dollar forty nine. Anyway, that's what we're going to be doing, or I'm going to be doing. I was going to show you that you can, if you can't draw, like I can't really freehand things very well. So I've taken my paintings before, and then I'll get like those wooden things and put them on the painting. I just hot glued them on. I didn't want to use E6000 because I was afraid that I wouldn't get them right. So I wanted them really centered, you know? So this is one I have hanging on my wall. And I love it very much. I love that one. So I thought I'd show you that what you can do, just put all kinds of stuff. If you can't draw, go for it. Find something. I've seen it done. And then here's this one turned out great. No problem whatsoever in the paint. 
showed up very, very well, which I'm super glad. I was afraid that was going to disappear, but it didn't at all. That's why I picked that antique gold, because I'm thinking. So it's completely dry. Turned out beautiful. And once it's glossed, it'll just pop right out all the colors. And then I had to show you what I had did the other day. Uh, this one here was base. I don't want to lay it on there because I just painted on it. But uh, I messed up. I used some type of blue-gray. And I had a big a lot of a base coat on and I didn't like it so then I was using this scoop <laughs> just trying something different and then I took and I didn't have much paint left just a little tiny bit I put back in here then I went one two three four five six right in the middle and that's all I had was just these little lines right in the middle but since it had a base on it it was nice and flowy so I took it and I rotated it, kind of went, you know, and had it weave in between and swirled it. And then I stretched it and this is what I got out of it. So I was pretty happy with it, thought it was pretty cool. Thought I'd show you that too. So that's it. So it turned out pretty neat. And that's like that teal pretty uh, colors together. I like it. Very cool. Kind of unique. Something that you can't get very often. <laughs> and I left this negative space up here. Because I didn't want to really make the whole painting that way. I thought it was neat. Alright. So the rest of the video might be a little blurry in the beginning. But it will get better near the end. You will be able to see this, the glitter. And hopefully I will start it explaining from where I left off. If you understand what I'm saying. The first part of my video is nothing but blur. Okay, we'll get going here. So we get started here with my plans on today, which I don't know if it's going to work out because you know, these are some colors that are totally off the wall. So I bought this Folk Art Extreme Glitter. It's not that sequence glitter that I used that one time. This is uh, an acrylic paint. It's plaid. And, but let me tell you something. This stuff smells strong. <laughs> it's like turpentine or something. Holy moly. Super strong smelling. I don't know if you can see the glitter in it. But it is pretty. And I it was pretty runny. To start with, so that's the whole bottle, believe it or not, just half of that. But I went ahead and just added my flow trial very slowly just to bring it to this consistency. Very little flow trial. And then, of course, I have my black, so I don't know how this is going to work out. Black and that, that, that's all I want to do. <laughs> all right, so here we go. So I'm thinking not a whole lot of black because you know what? I may end up really putting like that puddle pour the other day, just really putting my finger through it to get rid of a lot of the black. We'll see. I'm just trying it. If it don't work, it's no big deal. Well, I like the paint, but... Silver paint. Well, what are you going to do, you know? I just want to do black and silver. I was thinking of doing ring pour. Or something with it but then you know I'm like I don't know just decided to do it this way and it's probably gonna turn gray which is fine I suppose 
Who knows? Oh, my stomach just twipped or flipped. This one. So, yeah, I don't want too much black. I mean, that's kind of what I'm worried about. But we'll see. If it don't work, I'll try it another way. You know? I'm probably using way too much black. But, oh my God, that stuff is strong smelling. It's like, what is it made out of? I'm afraid to torch it, it's gonna explode. Some stuff you buy, it'll tell you on the bottle. Flame. Careful for flames and stuff. I've heard of it happening before. So, yeah, I'm not looking for cells. I'm just looking for something cool to put that on. That's all. I didn't want to go too big either because I was afraid it wouldn't work. <laughs> You know, it's a good Wednesday, very nice day today. It's been kind of rainy in Arizona here for the past couple of days, so well, just yesterday. A little bit of cloudy overcast, so it's nice. It's not hot. Don't have to run my air at all. Not yet, anyway. The neighbor dog barks and my dog starts to go nuts. Ruby! Okay, so I think we're going to have plenty of paint. There's no doubt about that. So, well, just a few with black. I think that's good. Okay. So. <clears throat> hope it turns out cool. Here comes the gray right away. We gotta mud it up gray right away. Mix it up too much, then I suppose, but it's okay, like I said. And that's a lot of black. Thinking maybe. I should drizzle. Oh, no. <laughs> it happened once before. I don't put my... <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember that happening once before. Well, I tilted that side. 
Looks like I'm gonna settle with this one. <laughs> That's funny. Even with my sticks, I fumble it. <laughs> it's not too bad. It's pretty in there. Ooh. Am I getting... No, I'm not getting clear again. It has to be the lighting. When it does that, now that I notice it's too much light. So let me see. Before I dump that off. the sides look good because that's going to go in the middle so I don't really care about the middle and it's kind of looking good I'm going to center that back I'm kind of liking it it's pretty it's not too bad Just stretching it out, getting it to be prettier. I like it though. I do like it. There. Okay. There. Well. There we go. I don't know what it was. Maybe their auto was on or something. There you go. So, I like it. That's kind of what I was going for. Something kind of crazy, bizarre looking. And then let's see what that'll look like on it. Where'd it go? There it is. I'm just going to make sure I don't put paint on it. Hey, that's going to look pretty. I'm going to like it. So when that's done, I will put that on there and show it to you guys, okay? Let's put that in view. Tell me what you think. I could put it this way, too. I think I might like it that way. Alrighty. So that worked out good. It's pretty. It gets some grayish, but it's actually a pretty stone, like countertop looking in there, in those areas, like a marble. So it don't matter what the middle looks like, because that's where that's going to go. So I'm glad this is pretty, and this is cool. All right, that's it for now. I'll find something else to do now. I'm probably going to do a couple more Easter eggs, but uh, I'm not sure what colors yet. But I do want to get those done before next Sunday. All right, take it easy, guys. Thanks for watching. I will catch you guys later. Like, share, and subscribe if you'd like to. That'd be awesome. Have a very good day, okay? Bye-bye now.